Word within the last hour that more than 900 people tested positive for COVID-19 in Minnesota. Department of Public Health just released the state's latest numbers, and we've been comparing Minnesota to states in our region. Christian Cordero joins us to put all of this into context. Christian. Well, Jason, we're just under that 1,000 case per day threshold today, right? Significant because Minnesota has crossed into that 1,000 plus territory seven times since March. They have all happened within the past two weeks. Today's 936 new cases bring the total to nearly 98,000 in Minnesota, seven newly reported deaths. Wisconsin health officials have not yet released today's numbers, but as of yesterday, the state was up to almost 116,000 total cases with more than 1,200 deaths. Wisconsin's positivity rate is almost 18%. They've hit 2,000 confirmed cases per day for four straight days. Minnesota stands at just below the 5% positivity rate. A good thing overall, go above it, and other states could put us on travel quarantine lists far above it for a sustained amount of time, and the state would start talking about tightening restrictions. Despite that low positivity rate, though, Minnesota joins every state at borders in what the tracking website COVID Exit Strategy calls uncontrollable spread. It factors in a lot of data, including the positive rate, uh, the positive case rate, contact tracing ability, and testing capacity. Chris Ayersman, the state's infectious disease director, called that designation disappointing, urging Minnesotans do better. Jason. All right. Important message, Christian. Thank you.